So in a recent Q&A session, we had a lot of questions about how we make our, our terrain, especially from Antietam, like our rivers and creeks. In this uh, two minute tutorial, we'll show you how to make this quickly and cheaply. This is a great beginner level terrain project. If you saw our Antietam episode, you know that these rivers look great in six millimeter scale, but our club also uses them in 15 and 28 millimeter games. To complete this project, you will need some wax paper, hot glue, felt, paint, and critically, a tube of clear silicone caulk. It is essential that your caulk be paintable. Read the label. Finally, the project is greatly enhanced by an easy drinking dram of Glengoyne Scotch. Next, you're going to spread this caulk out on the wax paper in whatever shapes and lengths you need for the project. Generally, I make mine 12 to 24 inches in length. You can also make your rivers any width that you want. For six millimeter, ours are typically about a half inch wide, but I've modeled larger water features up to two inches wide using this method. You don't want the silicone to be too thin, so apply two side-by-side -side beads, and then uh, just use your finger to swirl them together and flatten it down. I didn't use any in this example, but if you want to stick a few rocks or pebbles in there, now's the time for that added detail. Now you can clean off your fingers and polish off the remaining scotch before taking a break. Wait overnight for the caulk to fully cure. When it's ready, carefully peel the silicone off the wax paper. It should peel off nicely. Now's a good time to use scissors to clean up the edges of the river if your silicone got a bit messy. Then it's time for the paint. You can use blue to stand out, or if you want to be a bit more realistic, grays, browns, or even shades of green are more accurate watercolors than blue. Flip the rivers only to, uh, over to only paint the bottom or underneath side of the caulk. The paint dries quickly, and then we'll use some tacky glue to secure the caulk to felt. This step is not essential. You could just use the caulk as is, but I've grown to like the sturdiness of the felt backing. It's also better for long-term durability. While the tacky glue dries, I like to dab some hot glue and affix clumps of Woodland Scenics brush to the sides of the river. Not only does it look good visually, it also adds one more layer of glue to keep the silicone from peeling away from the felt. Finally, cut out the river sections with scissors. You can expose as much or as little felt along the river's edge as you want. And there you have it, easy cheap rivers at any scale for any era of wargaming. These rivers get a ton of use in our club games. Thanks to our viewer, Lachlan, for submitting this question to the Q&A. For more modeling tips, visit us here at littlewarstv.com.